So we've looked at using for to repeat things a fixed number of times, but what's a nested loop? Well, a nested loop is when you have one loop inside another. And it obviously affects the number of times um, that something happens because the inner loop happens each time that we go around the outer loop. Um, so if we've got uh, a loop, of, say, for x in range 10, inside another one for y in range 10, then the inner one will be done 10 times, so 10 lots of 10 uh, gives you 100. But why wouldn't we just count up to 100 in the first place? Well, there's a couple of instances when nested loops are quite useful. Uh, first of, of which is when, if you want to generate a table. So I'm going to have two loops, one inside the other. One that represents the height, and I'm going to call them y and x using the standard uh, kind of x, y notation for directions, uh, axes in maths. So I'm going to say for y in range 10, so that's going to give me my rows. So I'm going to have 10 rows, and on each, so each time we start a new row, I'm going to have a, a blank row there, and then I'm going to have for x in range 10, and what we're going to do is we're going to move across, so y is the rows and x is the column, so each time we go up a row, so there's going to be 10 rows, so on row 0 we're going to have x being 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then on row 1 we're going to have x being 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. And so we'll have the inner row, which is counting 10, inside the outer loop, which is also counting 10. So 10 lots of 10 will give me 100. It'll give me 100 elements. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do row um, plus equals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just generate a letter. So I'm going to use the CHR, which we've looked at in another video. Uh, so if I take 65 and I add the value of y. So to begin with, y will be 0. So 65 plus 0 will be 0. That will give me an A. Then next time round, y will be 1. So that will be 66, which will give me a B, etc. So I'm going to have a letter. And then I'm going to have a digit. So I'm just going to use x itself to show where we are in the row. However, because I'm concatenating it with um, the letter that I've just generated, I'm going to cast that. Uh, to be a string, so I'm going to have the, the string version of x, and then I'm just going to space it out. So that's um, that's that, and then I'm going to print the row, and I think that should be it. So let's run that and see what happens. So we can see that x is the number part, so x goes 0, 1, 2, 3, and it does that for each row, so it does that 10 times. Y is the row and y gives us the letter. So y gives us uh, a, b, c, d, etc. down as far as j. So nested loops, one inside the other, useful for two-dimensional grids. If you wanted a three-dimensional grid, you could nest three loops. So you could have x, y, and z and build up a kind of cube of numbers. Obviously, we might struggle to display that on the screen, but that would be a possible um, thing to do. So that's one use. Uh, the other use is when you repeatedly want to do something, but not necessarily the same number of times. So um, you'll see in a minute uh, the uh, what, I, what I mean by that. So this can be used in things like um, sorting algorithms, so selection sort, for example, um, or um, for a more um, festive feel, uh, we can use uh, it in something like the 12 days of Christmas. So we looked in a previous video at how to generate the song 10 green bottles let's have, ha, now have a look at uh, the 12 days of christmas so I've, I've just started off rather than having you watch me type these in i've uh, pasted in a list of all the presents that you get on the 12 days of christmas and um, this list of ordinal numbers which we'll see uh, why we use those in a minute and um, just to make the song look a bit nicer so how does the song uh, 12 days of christmas work so it counts up doesn't it so the day counts up and it counts up um, from 1, the first day of Christmas, up to the 12th day of Christmas. So I'm going to say for day in range, and I'm going to use two numbers here because I want to start at 1 rather than 0, which you would do ordinarily, and I'm going to go up to 12. So remember in Python we need to go one more. So I'm going to count from 1 to 12, and then within that, what am I going to do? So I'm going to, what does the song do? So on the first day is a day of Christmas you get your partridge in your pear tree 
On the second day of Christmas, you get your turtle doves and your partridge in a pear tree. And on the third day, you get your French hens, your turtle doves and your partridge in a pear tree. So on each day, it then counts back down to one, doesn't it? So um, let's call it, um, I've already used the term present, so let's call it gift or something. So for uh, gift in range, so we're going to start at whatever the current day is. So on the fifth day of Christmas, you get your five gold rings. So we're going to start at day, and we're going to count down to one. So and again, um, we need to, Python stops one short, so we need to count down to zero. Okay. And then, what do we want to say? So, on the actual day, we're going to print uh, on the, and this is where ordinal comes in, because um, what we're going to do is we're going to convert, uh, rather than saying on the one day of Christmas, we're going to say on the first day of Christmas. Now, because first is the first item, and um, tuples are indexed from zero, what I need to do is when I when I do the ordinal, like so, I need to use day minus one. So I need to take one off day because on the first day, we actually want element zero. So on the on the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me, and then. We're going to list all the presents on that particular day. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to just use a, like a I'm going to kind of bullet point them. So um, so what we're going to have we're going to have um, so a hyphen and then uh, the uh, so my descriptions have got no uh, number in them. So I'm just going to use the actual number. So gift and then. Uh, we need to have the description, don't we? So the uh, description will be present gift. So gift is the index, present is the tuple that contains the list of presents. And again, because um, on day one we want to give present zero, uh, we need to take one away from that. Okay, so let's have a look at what that does when we run that now. Okay, so that's not doing quite what I expected. So we've got on the first day of Christmas, on the second day of Christmas, the days are looking okay. Um, so why is this not behaving itself? Oh, I see. It's not. It's not behaving itself because I need to count down, don't I? So my step size needs to be minus one there. So that's why, as I said in a previous video, it's a good idea, rather than writing the whole program before you test any, just to kind of test your structure and check that it's counting properly. So now I'm going to count down properly. So hopefully that will run. Okay, so let's have a look at this from the top now. It's quite long. So on the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. And on the second day, my true love sent to me uh, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree, and on the third day, three French hens. So that's looking all right, isn't it? And does it go all the way to the end? So on the 12th day of Christmas, 12 drummers, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and all the way down to 1. So I suppose um, what I might want to do is just um, have gaps between my verses. So probably the easiest way to do that, I could put, put uh, a new line before the on, um, but I could put it after the partridge in the pear tree. That would um, that would sort that out. So now if I run that, I would get gaps between my verses. And jobs are good. Un. So and that's a, a slightly different use of nested loops because what we're not we're not getting a, a grid there. We, we kind of get a triangle effectively because um, the inner loop. So for gift is counting down from the whichever day it is. So it's not always the same number like it was in the grid. So X was always 10, wasn't it? So it was getting 10 rows every time. This time we're getting the same number of presents as the day that we're on. 
So it's a slightly different use of nested loop, but again, one loop inside another. 